friends, for today's project, I just found these. They've been packed away forever. I bought them last year. I went, so that's how long I've had them. They were in $1.50 bin at Michael's. And I bought forks and spoons, wooden spoons. I thought they were really cool and I wanted to paint them. And so, and in fact, on Pinterest recently, I did see some little girls on them with, they were in their underwear and socks, striped socks. I don't know why they were just in their underwear, but they were. Um, and so I was like, oh, I have a spoon somewhere. And the funny thing is, Cora was unpacking stuff, and I was unpacking stuff. We still have lots of stuff packed. And I realized when I saw them, I'm like, oh, yeah, that project I wanted to do like 100 years ago. So I need to so some wooden spoons and play with them so make some faces and that's what i'm going to do so i did get some gesso out and i kind of semi washed my brushes they're terrible this this usually i wash them with shampoo and it works really nice but um this time i didn't and i washed them with dish soap and it's funny it does make a difference to me so I got my gesso on here, my lazy Susie, lazy Susie, and I'm just gonna gesso some of these guys. I'm just gonna, for the heck of it, I think I'll just do. Well, maybe I'll do even four. I don't know. So I'm just gonna do that. Just so them, and then I'm going to paint some faces and um, play with it. And you guys could do, like, big wooden spoons. Um, I just thought when I saw these, I was like, oh, I'm going to do something with them. In fact, I actually wasn't going to paint faces. I had another idea, but I still have lots of spoons left. And in fact, I might just do three. But I had other ideas for them. this project, actually. So this is not the only idea. But like I said, I just, I don't know if it was last night or what, I saw some little painted faces on these. So I'm like, why not? It's fresh in my mind. I can't really recall what they look like. I know they had little rosy cheeks, and that's what probably attracted me to them. Rosy cheeks. Me and my rosy cheeks. So I'm just going to paint them. And, or just them. And then be back. Um, and I got my water brush out. I'm going to use my soft pastels. My love my soft pastels. So I'm going to use my soft pastels. And the first one, I'm just going to hopefully not hit the. Hopefully it's not too far up. Hopefully not hit the camera with it. Um. So, I actually I'm going to go in with my brown. I'm going to make a face, and I can't recall exactly uh, the face, but I did recall the shy, uh, the rosy cheeks. So. I'm going to do kind of just a face with rosy cheeks and that kind of thing. I'm going to grab my sponge that I use for cleaning my water brush on. So I'm just going to play with that. And uh, this is kind of an easy process with, with the soft pastels and just have fun with it and play so I'm going to do the rosy cheeks I didn't even do the eyes yet I don't know going backwards today okay can you guys see make sure I'm in frame I'm not looking at what I'm but not looking on the computer there. I always tend to put things right across. But I can't stick more stuff here. Anyways. I do that to myself. 
So I'm going to throw in a little eye. And now I've got a little face going on in there. I did the nose in a brown instead of a black. It's easy enough to go over with water and change it up if I wanted to. I can do a little heart shape mouth. And that's pretty cute. Go in with the black hair like this. To one side, to the other side. So I'm just doing a little painted face. This is fun. I don't know. I thought it was cute and I was like, mm, I'm going to do it. But um, I have other ideas, like I said, for the spoons. But the little face is cute. So it would be cute for a little girl's party or something like that. So I'm just kind of doing the edge. Something different to do on a spoon. And the soft pastels are really awesome. It's like easy to fix if you make a mistake and just really easy, nice colors to move. And so thin, you don't have to worry about any thick acrylic or anything like that. I like it. I like playing with them. So I'm not sure if I'm going to color the face. I might as well. I'm going to go with pink first. I know I'm not usually like the proper face coloring person usually, but I'm just going to go a little bit pink here. See how that how that rubs me. If I like it or not. I'm not liking just the pink, so I'm going to add some yellow. That's more bad, I like it. Kind of like that. Just going over it. I'm not. I don't have to be too careful. It's really nice and forgiving. Yeah, I'm gonna go with just a little blue there. Old fashioned eyeshadow. I'm not sure. And go very light, pale, pale, um, yellow. Finish off the nose. I'm gonna go like a red or orange red for the lips again. Just kind of. Bring them in, and I'm going to make them more heart shape. Since it is Valentine, Valentine season, let's do heart lips. And what am I going to do for her outfit? I don't know. This is quite the hang. Don't know. I'm just gonna do this, and um, I'm gonna kind of mimic the stockings that they had on that little girl's before, because I remember somewhat that. I just don't remember. They were wearing underwear though. I'm like, what? Why are they wearing underwear? But who knows? I'm just gonna go like this and do the stockings now. And I'm gonna try to do the stripes. Black and white striped stockings. They're so cute. And I'm gonna try to do the opposite color match or unmatch.
there like that. That's cute. And I don't know. Maybe I'll do a. A little pink dress or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, whoops, did I hit my camera again? I do that all the time. I'm going to do a little pink dress and I'm going to go and do a little bit of a, I'm just kind of making up as I go along on this part because I don't know but I'm going to go like this and kind of have it like that, maybe. It might be too curvy for a little girl, I don't know. Maybe I'll just cover that up because it looks a little too curvy. But... I'm going to, I wanted to have little girl arms, so I'm going to do skin kind of color here. And I might have to go in with the black a bit. Just like that. Just to give her a little bit of arms, and I'm going to go in with the... I'm going to go in with the um, skin flesh tone leg. Oop, too much. Back up, back up. Too much um, water on my sponge. I keep dipping on my sponge to clean the paint off instead of using a cloth. And I think that's about it. I might use a little purple in the dress now. Or maybe put purple in the top part. I don't know. And we'll see playing with it. And then I can always go over it with my um, uh, Posca pens that I got. And that is about it. I think that's cute. I don't know guys, what did you think? Was that cute? I don't know if you thought it was cute or a silly project. I'm going to throw a little bit of Mod Podge on there. I'm going to work on the next one after I kind of finish a little detail on here. Um, but I don't know, it's cute. I'm going to do a little Mod Podge. Come on, it's cute for like maybe, I don't know kids craft or doing something as a gift. Um, I don't know. I thought I've got to use these spoons. I picked them up for a reason. Okay, so I put Mod Podge on this and I'm going to dry it up and then I'm going to put some using my Posca pens. Posca, put Posca pens. I'm going to a little detail on it. Okay, so now I'm going to do the some details. The ones, I'm sure the ones on the Pinterest were much cuter, but whatever. It was fun. Right? Whatever. Playing around. It's a cute little craft. Be cute little um, garden stakes too. On the inside, you can put the names of your herbs. That'd be cute. Of course, eventually the it would um, the moisture would get to the spoon. But I mean, hey, at least you have something really pretty for a while. So I'm just doing the socks now and the black. Pusca pen, I think that's what they're called. And then um, do a little bit of the arms here. So I'm kind of 
just playing around with these. I'm sure the ones on Pinterest are so much cuter. Uh, I was thinking about it as I was drawing, and I'm like, this is not what they had. They were so whimsical and cute. But, well, I can't find them to look back at what they looked like, so I'm just going to have to do it with that. So, I think I'm going to go put little loops here. I'm just going to add detail to it after. I hope you guys can see somewhat of what I'm doing. I'm just going to go around the head. I'm going to make some streaks in the hair. Black hair, darker black streaks. Oh, not too much on my face. And that's cute. Don't know, do I want to go on the eye a bit? Now I am going to go a little bit on the drop leg. Okay. Cora's jumping in and out of the craft room. So now I'm just doing her socks. Make it more vibrant on the piece here. So I don't know. It's cute. Now I think I'm going to just put white on this one. I was. I might put white on the other frills as well. I'm kind of thinking about it. I think I will. I had the purple there, but cute. So that is that. And put a little white on the nude. like that, pull it in. I have too much ink on my fingers, I'm making black marks. <laughs> That's helpful. So this is basically it. Um, I think I'm putting maybe more color on here. You want to put a little white here, a little white here, dot maybe in the eye. And that's getting cute. Maybe a little barrette here. Just like that. Kind of just using my imagination there. Plenty of that, huh? Um, I did do the gesso over, or the the Mod Podge over, so it's protected. So if I want to go any more color, I can, and it'll be fine. And that is cute. I wonder if I could even put more um, protecting on it and varnish or something, how well that would protect it. So that's pretty cute. It's coming out cuter than I thought. Gesso on there. Um, not gesso. I keep saying gesso. I've got some more um, Mod Podge on there. I'm going to throw that on the side to dry. The, I took a while for the last one, so I'm going to try really quickly to go faster on this one. And Okay, I'm going to use my watercolor. I was going to use just my Pasca pen, but I'm going to use my watercolor. So... Or my soft pastels. I keep talking and not making sense. Okay, this one I had a plan. So let's let's see here. I'm gonna put put a little marks here and here. Okay. 
And this one Nikki's gonna love. And if she hasn't guessed by now, yeah. I might have made a little boo boo there. But like I said, soft pastels are usually pretty forgiving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cheek ball. Cheek ball. Oops, cheek ball. That's not even. We'll fix that up. More paint. This soft pastels are really fun and easy, so I can easily add more water and fix that up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bit of a top right here. Mm, I might do a little more, guys. This is not quite catching my... See if I can rub that off. Hey, it's not bad. I might even just do that right here too because that cheek ball is a little on the small side. Okay, so hey, we sometimes make mistakes. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw the ears in first instead of drawing the um, trying to make the ears fit the head. That way I can make the head fit the ears. And like that. There we go. So, playing around, guys, and just playing around, I am going to make a little thing like this. A little thing like this. Isn't that cute? Maybe a little bigger. Hey, grab this again and grab the wet. Hey, that's pretty forgiving on the gesso. I like that. So I'm going to actually make bigger ones. Bigger eyes. So now, this is all going to be black. Isn't it cute? I think so. Fix it. I'm going quite, I'm trying to go fast, guys. I'm sorry if I'm not, I'm trying to. I went way too long in the first one. I don't want to mess up because I'm going too fast, though, but it's a possibility. So that's it. It's quite not the shape that I wanted it to be. That's really nice. Look at that, how the soft pastel is kind of really wiping off easily. So I'm going to change the shape of the mouth. I don't want it to look quite like that. So that's the first time I've actually moved, I think, the chalk right off like that. So that wasn't too bad. So this is the quaba. And my Tam. I'm actually going to put a little bit of a a little bit of a line there. Okay. Pink nose. So try and have fun with this one. Maybe a little pink in the ears. And then I don't know. A little orangey red. Just playing here. And I'm gonna go in with the gray or brown, 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 gray. It's kind of really close to like a diluted um black. Let's 
see, if I go over it, I can dilute it even more, blend it in more. Fix this little area there that I kind of feel like I faux pas on, which is actually nice. I can do that. I could go over it. I'm mixing a little water on my brush instead of just squeezing the water. I'm squeezing the water out of my brush when I'm picking up paint a little bit when I need it. Um, otherwise, I'm just kind of squirreling into the uh, water next to me to rinse and wiping on the brush. So that is that kitty. So he's cute. Um... I might just go like this. I wasn't really planning on what to do here with the body and all that, but I'm going to throw that in and have um, some quaba toes. Mm, does that make sense? Quaba toes. Kitty toes. Kitten toes. That's Charity's nickname, kitten toes. So this is all going to be like um, kitten toes right here and black. So no tail. Well, this is going to be somewhere behind them or something. We'll use our imaginations. I'll have to fix his toes a little bit later with maybe the Posca pen. Am I getting that name right now? I think I'm starting to say it right, Posca pen, which is really good for me. Saying things correctly. So he is pretty much done. I'm going to give him a little heat. So I'm just going to do a little bit of kitten whiskers and that kind of thing. Maybe a little detail here and there. I really like the way he turned out. So, and I think if it would be a cool little fun little thing to do if you guys want to play with um, spoons. I mean, we tend to decorate them in different ways usually, and this is pretty fun. I tend to do more, like, I don't know, flowers and that kind of thing. So I'm kind of liking this. Oh, I want to do its toes. There is him. I'm kind of, I'm really liking him. Digging up, digging him, I'm digging him, guys. I think I got some Pusca pen wet marker there. Didn't let it dry. There he is. Um, gonna give him a little. Guys, this was really fun. I think these are two cute little ideas. Um, my girls are gonna love these. I don't know, like, really what else to to say, but I think they're just darn. What did I put with my fork brush? I think they're darn cute, and um, yeah. I know it's, you know, not usual to do the, you know, well, we do whimsical faces, and I'm going to put a little heart on this kitty. We do whimsical faces and stuff like that, but, um, it's a little different, but it's so cute. How can we not love this? So cute. So, this is my guys.
my characters here. Uh, you guys give it a try uh, with a spoon to um, add your own little characters and see what you get. So this is my little girl, my kitten, and I think this is really cute. It was for fun, guys, just for fun. Sometimes we don't have to take our art so serious and we can just have a blast with it. And like I said, this is going to be cute. If um, I was thinking of um, adding more um, protector on it, I'm not sure what. I'll have to look uh, and maybe putting the names of what I planted on the inside and using that like that. So it would be cute for the little plants I'm going to grow real soon here, starting and thinking March for my garden. So i got to do some starting up and I could do that. Have something cute artsy and cute so it'll be cute anyways i keep saying cute this is crazy anyways guys i hope that video is not too long and i hope you enjoyed this and give it a try talk to you guys later bye bye